Well, guys, it's Sunday, and we're working seven days a week right now. Being that Sunday, I didn't get out of the house till around 9 o'clock. The least a guy can do is sit down with his wife and drink a cup of coffee and talk a little bit. And I edited a video while I was bullshitting with her, and then I came down here. and I got to get this done by tomorrow. Um, anyway... A lot of quite a bit a little bit of welding here as you can see the floor is cracked and this I don't know <sighs> the right way to do this this gets so thin from the cows walking up on it that it needs to be replaced but for now we're gonna weld it all up as best we can we're not gonna be able to do a whole lot with this I might be able to cut a section out here and weld a section in here I can weld this up. It's just going to break again. Once this stuff starts getting thin like this and fatigued, you just, you're just you better off just to cut the whole section out and rivet a new, you know, just rivet a whole new section in is what you're better off doing. But we need to try to do something there to get it by. Hopefully, he's probably listening. Give me a little more time next year, bring it in in the wintertime. <laughs> he watches these videos too. Uh, this... This right here, see how it's sagging down right here? It's not level. We're gonna try to shim this out. These are all worn out. We're gonna weld them on. I'm not gonna rivet them back on. I'm just gonna weld them on. And instead of putting two hinges, we're gonna be putting three. So I'll put one right in the center. And I wonder, and we might even space these out just a little bit further, maybe, out here. We'll see how it works out. But... Oh! See where it's worn real thin right here? And I'm not really certain that that's making much difference, to be honest with you. Because it's only going to wear so far on here till it gets into this heavier metal. I'm not really sure that that's going to be doing much at all, to be honest with you. I think the the main part, as you can see, see where it's been welded, and you can see the lip right here. This is where most of the wear is, is on this piece. I think this is the piece we need to focus on. I don't really think it makes much difference on this piece. Um, I, at first I was thinking about this piece more, but the more and more I look at it, I think this is the piece we need to focus on here. And I don't even even know if we just ought to just take a piece of this and maybe maybe we'll clean this up and just weld it right to the top of it is what I'm kind of thinking. It's almost a little bit too wide. Give my tape measure and measure that. I got a skill saw if I can run down. I can run down lengthwise of this too and cut it for the width that I want. One thing about the cow feathers, usually they're they're pretty clean, you know, they're really not that dirty. Um because of the cows walking in and out of them. They usually stay, you know, they're not well, you know, I talked to a guy in Canada with all the salt they put on the road back there, these aluminum trailers get oxidized really bad, but we don't really have that problem here as much. Okay, so that's the first thing. I need to measure this out. Let's see. We might have to trim this. I think this is four inch by what is it? Three sixteenths? What is it? Yeah, it's quarter inch. Two fifty by four. So that's what we got to do first. Uh, we might as well. Well, I might keep that there for now and go ahead and figure out what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll kind of mock this up a little bit. See if I can get this gate closed with this in here and then lower that down and then see see how it's going to sit. Because I know one corner was lower than, than the other and I think that corner, maybe it was this corner here that was worn a little more. I might have to shim this out or I might have to do something different here. I'm trying to, eh, it is a little bit screwed up on that corner right there. Look at this corner here. 
Yeah, see, it's just wearing a, a divot into it right there. And I'm not so sure that we want to weld to the top of that because then we're going to have a we're going to have a gap in there. So if we might, I'll just cut it clear out and weld in there. Okay, let me mock this up. Well, guys, I got the top all welded clear across. <laughs> aluminum, guys. I mean, new aluminum. This piece here. Yeah, that welds just fine. This old part of the cow trailer that the cows been shitting and pissing on forever. And, and it's almost like this aluminum. It just... The corrosion gets into the metal and it doesn't matter how clean you clean it. It can be a... Sometimes they can be a bear to weld on. But, uh... Clean, the cleaner the better on this aluminum. I've got this all cleaned out in here. The bottom's a little tougher to weld than the top. I mean, anything flat is going to be easy. Going across here, you kind of have to, we'll probably have to make two passes to get it filled real good. Plus, I, I blew through it pretty good here when I cut the other piece out. So I'm kind of doing, I took the skill saw. That he got me a piece of, you know, quarter inch by, by a four inch wide strap and I needed actually three and a half but I was on the road when he called me what do I need for that trailer I said fuck I don't know I'm I haven't even looked at it I think it's about four inch I said we'll get four inch in if it's too wide I'll cut it so anyway that's what I did I took the skill saw and just trimmed it so uh kind of show myself welding here a little bit on the aluminum for the guys that I almost hate making a welding videos I've been welding ever since I was a little kid, you know, and I didn't, my dad was a, a welder for the pipeline in the, on the oil fields, that's where I learned from was him, and uh, he was a damn good welder, a lot better than I'll ever be, but uh, I almost hate making welding videos, there's just so many know-it-alls and experts out there that just, uh, you get tired of hearing it, and uh, you can, you can go south here in the valley and look at about Oh, probably 30 elaborate, pretty elaborate pumping stations that I built. And there's a bunch of machines that are actually being used out in the strawberry fields that I built that are still going and they use them every day, you know. And then, then you get to hear this guy that welded a piece of angle iron to a, a piece of flat plate in welding school, but he already knows everything, you know. And now oh, you get sick of hearing this shit, I'll tell you. Uh, God, where can I put this camera at? I gotta find somewhere to put the camera. I don't know if there's a good spot to put it, to be honest with you. Can I set that sucker up here somewhere, maybe? And... Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Not really, a, not really a good spot for it. To be honest with you. I wish there was something vertical to put the clip on, then that would work. Oh, I got an idea. How's that? Do I see anything at all there? That'll work though once I get it figured out. Let's put it right here. Goddamn clip's pretty handy. I don't know what we're looking at there. I think that's a fairly good angle. Shit, I must have that oil and hell out. Oh, there it is. Oh. Hang on a second. decided that some people don't like the way I talk and I guess you know what I'm 43 years old and I ain't gonna change so. it is what it is take me for who I am or just I guess it's tough shit we can teach this old dog new tricks 
shit probably put these out here a little more. from here. Probably could turn it down just a little bit, make it a little bit easier. And I think once I get into here I'll be fine. Hopefully the trailer don't catch on fire. pretty fast and weaving because it's pretty thin right there I'm just filling in the thin spots and then I'll go over it again and make a beauty bead and I'm probably gonna have to switch wire pretty soon I'm about out in this pool two passes with this aluminum. Take a wire wheel. I got a wire wheel and an air grinder here. And uh, I'll go over and clean it again before I go over the next pass with it. This aluminum is just really, really, really touchy. I mean, really touchy. And just listen to the sound of your... It should sound like a sewing. I mean, I always, sound, I always say it should sound like a sewing machine. I mean, it should sound smooth. It shouldn't be splattering a lot. It should just be smooth. It's just, it's just tricky getting your wire speed, your gas, you know, you want your gas turn, turned up pretty high on this aluminum. You want to keep it clean, and then you want your, you know, you just got to get everything dialed in. I mean, this is the first time I've welded, the, well, this full gun I've used before, but not on this welder. section up. I've got tack everywhere down here. Uh, I might just go ahead and clean this section up and be done with this section now. I'll have to reposition for up there. It's kind of awkward.
Well guys, got everything welded in, all the hinges. Let's see if it binds up. It's a lot stiffer than it was, I'll tell you that. It'll have to, it ain't perfect, but a little bit of a low spot right there. Well, what really needs to be done, which we don't have time for, maybe if they get their spring hauling done, maybe I'll tell them to bring it back in here. We need to buy some more, maybe of this. And what it's, it's worn here on this corner too. Need to cut this one out, probably both sides and get everything squared back up. We got her 100%, I mean a lot better than what it was, but them cows will let's see right there you pull that that way a little bit and you get that bounce out of it but it's probably got a bounce on the other end now no not really that ain't too bad right there it's just i mean it ain't gonna be perfect there's a bunch of play in these hinges see the play in them right here so it ain't gonna be perfect but it's not sitting a quarter inch below the face of this now and the hinges aren't clear worn out to where they're going to break they were worried about the hinges breaking uh, okay well what is next I need to weld that shit up there on the bottom down there a little bit before a cow falls through it uh where's that one latch there's one latch that i gotta redo and weld on i think it's this one right here it's already been welded on I'm gonna cut that, cut these rivets, and actually leave them rivets alone. Let's just cut it right here, cut these rivets, and we're gonna just, we're just gonna weld it on. We ain't gonna rivet it. I think that's yeah, that's aluminum. All right, let me find that find that latch. Oh, it's right here. There's the new one. Yeah, we'll stick her through there and weld her on there. We don't worry about no rivets. Let's see if I do that. I weld that up. What else did he want fixed? Ah, uh, there was something up here on the top gate. And I think he was something way up there in the front. But I don't know if I'm going to get to that one. I was trying to get a hold of him because I think he said I had tomorrow too. So if I got tomorrow to do this, I might just say the hell with it and go home. It's Easter Sunday. And just come in here tomorrow and finish it up. So, I don't know. Couldn't get a hold of him. That's not what his trailer fixed that bad. <laughs> Uh, get the plasma cutter and cut this out and get this one. I can get this one done for sure today before I haul ass. And then I got to remember what the hell else up in here. There's something on this gate here. I think it was busted loose down here. Oh, yeah. It's a bunch of play in this hand or something. We gotta fix that. Ugh. Cowboys are hard on shit. Maybe we're ready. 
with a helmet on grind. guys now we're into the nose into the nose fixing stuff on it damn it let me climb in here I'm not ripping my head off okay so we got this piece here we got to fix this it's been scabbed together once already we're gonna grind all this flat and then I got a piece of I think it's two by quarter. And I'm gonna lay it in here and go clear across it. And then we'll try to get this scab back together too. Maybe we'll put a short piece to kind of maybe reinforce that a little bit too. Let's see if we can do that. All right, let me put you on my hat. And let me get my safety glasses on. Definitely when you're grinding on this. Balloon number steel, boy, you better put these on. It ain't worth getting something in your eye.
Okay, what do we want to do here? Might have to might have to weld her across, might have to clean this up here. I'd like to get it right in there is where I'd like to be. I'd have to grind this weld out a little bit or something. And then go back on the other side and beat it back this direction to get get her to sit on that right. Well, I'm gonna have to grind all this out if I'm gonna get that to sit in there right. I think that's what we're gonna end up doing and grind it all out. Let's see if we can get this in there. missing here is the problem quite a bit of material missing there I think I can get away with that and weld that right across there on the bottom and start tacking this. I might grind this down a little bit, bring me a little closer to this. I kind of like it would sit right in there on that lip right there would be the ideal situation. I think that's kind of what I want to do. I want it to sit right in there on this cross member. I think that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this ground out to where I can cut a piece of fit right in there, and that that'll be better, and that'll bring me closer to this. It'll just weld a lot better. Well, this stuff's pretty light up here. I might have to readjust my welder. I know here on the bottom I get a little heavy, but I might. Sometimes you can't turn them down low enough. So I'd weld the pop can. That's where a tape welder comes in pretty handy. I don't have one though. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna get the ground hooked up. Get the spool in over here. I'm gonna get it tacked in there on the bottom, and then I'm gonna have to tack it along the top and work it in because it's bent in. I finally got this scab, it looks like shit. It's just so rotten and thin and dirty and you just can't get it clean enough. And this up here is just like, I, you know, go get a pop can and try to weld on that piece of shit. 
I mean, I guess it ain't too bad, but it's a lot, it's a lot stouter. I mean, I don't think. Of course, the cowl can kick a lot harder than that hammer swinging, but it's a lot better than what it was. It looks like some oaky welded on it, but uh, you work with what you got. Be nice if you were welding on heavy stuff like this and you could turn your welder up and lay a nice good solid bead there and but I just couldn't. Plus trying to get this angle right here, you know, my spool gun's hitting up here on the top and I just tough the weld on. The bottom wasn't too bad to do. You know, it welded pretty nice. That top was kind of a bear. Well, Got the cow trailer this one done and as i was working on this one finishing it up i had a couple guys from another ranch show up telling me to they were bringing another one in that we got to do a bunch of welding on here's a bunch of the junk shit we cut out of this one i'll just show you what we what we did on this one this uh there's a drain in here and the they hit something you can see the damage to the light they're going to change that light but they broke this rod off so i i bent it and welded another rod on there well the owner he was in town and he didn't really know what size rod to get he got three quarter and it's actually five eighths but so it kind of we kind of scabbed a chunk of shit on there to and welded it to there and it fits through the hole in the body so it works And then this here, we we completely redid all this hinges, welded all this, welded all that on there. That goes down like this. See the new hinges here. I'm trying to get my light to where. There we go, that's about right. But I hold the new hinges on there. And then I welded, I put a, this was so thin, I welded, I was worried about making that weak. So I took a piece of strap here, I welded on the back side of this gate, because it was. was riveted in but I welded it on and then this one up here was the hard one I had to have the owner come in and help me with this one this gate here this gate here down on the bottom he bought an $1,800 rivet gun. I didn't have a big rivet gun. I'm going to get one. After I seen the one he got, I'm, I'm going to get one. But the gate was all sagging, and it's this this is this was worn out, and it was hard and really tricky. The hard part about it is is trying to get it set up right, especially when everything's worn out, you know, and getting it to where these pinholes line up correctly. And it was tough doing it. And what we ended up doing, we ended up putting a quarter inch shim in the bottom. The weld broke loose on here. And then the gate was flopping in here. And it's so egg shaped and worn out, you know, really the right way to do it was probably, you know, probably get a new rod that goes through the center of this tubing and then get a new bracket. But what we did is we took the gate off turned it upside down and I cleaned this up and then I centered it because I, I couldn't get in there to weld it from the bottom. I just couldn't get the right angle too close to the floor. So I ground the heads off the rivets, knocked them out. And then we turned it upside down. We took the top out too and uh, flopped it upside down and welded it, just centered it and got it welded. And of course, then we were off, you know? So then we decided that to, we shimmed it here and actually it turned out really, really well. I was kind of surprised how well it turned out. But this pinhole lines up. The only thing you gotta do is, it'll sag after the 
Trailer's going down the road, balancing, it'll, it'll wear, trust me, it'll wear in. You gotta push down just a touch. That goes right in. Oh shit, I... Got the pin. And then that'll... That one goes right in, just like that. So that turned out real good. And I took this too, this was this piece here from the gate sagging because that because of that hinge over there being bad, it sagged so bad that it worn this almost clear through. So I welded this and ground it till it was flat again. And then this piece up here, I got it, I welded it, you know, I put that strap on the one side and fixed all that. And then I welded it here, all the way up to here. So that's pretty stout now, they won't be kicking a hole through that anytime soon. But the other trailer that's coming in to, to work on is a little bit different trailer. This is a Garrett trailer. The Wilson trailer is a little different. This rail uh, comes all the way back into here where you're in the top deck. And something happened to the top of the trailer and the top of the trailer, we got to fix the top of the trailer because it keeps breaking this rail where the top door slides through. So we got to reinforce and fix the top of the trailer because it basically is the support for the rail. And we got brand new rails for, I think for both sides and we're going to redo all that. So. Anyways, about two days worth of welding and work on this one, and she's ready to haul cows, but...